today on our isolation learning school we are going to be practicing focus pulling yes focus pulling that's right coming up welcome back if you're new to this channel i will appreciate if you do subscribe and join the family um, here we do music movies tech reviews movie reviews short films you know stuff like that so welcome on board and let's get into focus pooling um why did i bring this up i thought you know it's not something i can really teach you it's um it's what you can practice at home uh and there's no better time than now to get your practice on so i thought about giving you some tips how you could get it on how you could get your practice on now that we're in isolation um i got toys for my kids and um you know one day i saw them playing with their toys and this idea jumped to me like okay maybe i could join join them in this and i could create something so um it's a car toy that will run through tracks and uh yeah they t it would turn on the bright light and they would turn off the lights when it's evening they'll turn off the light and watch it go and try to put obstacles on the way just to have some fun and yay and the car still goes over the obstacle and stuff like that that's your fun so i said okay you know what guys i'm gonna join you guys they said yay as long as you let me bring this of course they had no choice and so while they were playing their stuff, I laid on the floor, took out my lens. This lens actually, this kind of FD lens, shot with mostly with this, but some of the shots I also did with uh, um, Canon FD 28, uh, 28 uh, millimeters and stuff like that. Now, what did I do? I let them run and do the tracks, play through the tracks. And, uh, you know, I kind of imagine in my head, what if we're in a life scenario and I'm supposed to pull in a sports complex or football field, you know, and everything is like unplanned, randoms, fast, you know. How do you, you know, focus and, you know, zoom and focus and, you know. I wanted to get it, I wanted to get the car all sharp, all true. So anytime I'm, the car is visible, I want it to be sharp. And I rack to the right and left, right and left. Because you got to have that muscle memory, which way to to um which way to rack the focus to the right or to the left you know um yeah and then even if you make a mistake how fast do you get back you know because sometimes when you make a mistake and you if you are able to correct on time it looks like it's deliberate so you don't give up you just keep going keep the exercise going racking rack out racking rack out and you know, it might not be this exact way, but you could find out things at home that you could practice. I was watching, um, I was watching Potato Jet um, recently. It's uh, one of his newest videos where he interviewed a guy from Ari who had this um, stabilize, camera stabilizer that was awesome, really, really awesome. And he kind of asked the focus puller how um or where some someone did someone did and i thought it was a very good question how often do you pull focus to the to the wrong side how often do you pull focus to the wrong um direction and um, the answer was like you're not supposed to on point you have to be on point and that that's only possible by learning and training and that muscle memory that discipline you know even without preparation you just jump on the camera and, and you're on you already know you know so uh, that can only come by practice and so that's what I'm encouraging us to do today practice 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 your focus focus pulling um, exercise i'll give you one other tip um maybe like a ball in the air if you're about to take a shot of a, of something that jumps into the air and comes back something like keeps bouncing for example all you have to do is like uh, what i do is i'll take something like a tripod i position it in that spot and um and then I zoom my focus and I, and I focus on that and I get it at that spot where I know the ball will be passing through. And then when I get my focus and, I, and probably you're on a tripod, uh, I let the ball bang, bounce and you know, I get my, my shot. 
like when I was doing my interview, um, my documentary, I shot my documentary by myself. And it was part of like um, a school assignment, film school assignment. I position the camera and I would rack focus and stuff like that. And if I wanted the blurry background, all I had to do was get uh, a tripod or something in the position where I will be sitting, sitting down and and I rack and I and I magnify. Of course, this uh, black magic has that uh, got that magnifying uh, ability, so I could get that tripod head big, large on my screen and get it in focus, and then zoom zoom back out. And I, I come back here and sit down, and then everything is okay. So you know, you you have to practice um, that will keep cultivate uh, you know that muscle memory. And that's that's all I want to preach today. So get some exercise on. In the comments below, you can also tell me some tips that could help. For now, as indie filmmakers, we do everything, virtually everything, until we meet and have to work together and decide who's doing what. Um, you have to do it on your own. So that's all I came to tell you today. So don't forget, like, subscribe. Um, let me know what you what other tips you have for focus pulling. And um, yeah, so please be safe, stay at home, wash your hands, and I'll see you tomorrow.